Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about confidence and what I think that is, what confidence as an artist and illustrator is, what it looks like for me. And I want to start off by defining what confidence is not. Never feeling doubt or always feeling certain of yourself, feeling that you know everything that you ever wanted to know and you don't have anything more to learn, thinking that you're amazing 24-7 and never comparing yourself to others. You can still struggle with all of these things and be a confident person, be a confident artist and illustrator. I myself struggle with those things and would still consider myself a confident person. So by my definition, confidence is the ability to trust yourself enough to know that you will struggle and you will face adversity, but despite that, that you will keep moving forward, keep putting one foot in front of the other and know that things will turn out all right in the end. So I think a lot of people associate confidence with feeling like, yes, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna be the best, I'm gonna have success, I'm gonna do all these awesome things. And I associate confidence much more with the, um, the journey, I guess, and the ability to keep moving forward, keep growing, and um, keep pushing through challenges, I guess. So some things that help me when I am not feeling as confident, when I'm feeling like I can't keep moving forward, like I don't know whether I can overcome a particular struggle, um, are to look at things that I have accomplished in the past. So something I've noticed is that once I have finished a project or um, pushed through a struggle or, uh, yeah, gotten completed something, um, months and years after the fact, the the challenging aspects of it tend to get kind of fuzzy in my mind and I just remember it as like I remember myself as being like very clear and sure that I like what I was doing at every step and knowing what I was doing and yeah feeling feeling confident <laughs> um, but it's very helpful for me to look and see like okay I uh, here's something that I finished here's something that I did like let me really try to be honest and remember the moments of struggle and uncertainty and the times that I wasn't really sure where I was going or what I was doing and then look at the result and say like, okay, I felt all of those things, but it did actually turn out okay. I was able to push through and keep going. So honestly, that's probably the, been the most helpful thing for me. And a nice thing about that is that, you know, I feel like when you're when you're really young, when you're in your teens and you know maybe in college in your early 20s, like you don't have as many of those things to look back on. So I, I think personally that's why I struggled even more with confidence when I was really young um, because I feel like I didn't have those, those touch points to be able to say, yes, I know that I can do this because look what I've done in the past. Um, so yeah, the bright spot is that like the older you get, and everybody does get older, the older you get, you will have more and more of those to look back on. And uh, I would even say it, it's helpful, um, and when I first started doing this, I, I, I did it to with things that weren't necessarily related to art. So, you know, what, even when I was feeling not as confident related to my art, I would look at other challenges in life and say, okay, like, look at this challenge related to my family or look at this challenge related to like health or this other thing I did in school or whatever, anything that I could look back on and say, yeah, I do have the ability to, to face adversity and to keep moving. And that, that has been just really helpful for me. So, um, another point, um, and I, I guess these are all kind of related, but another point would be forgetting temporarily, forgetting the master plan. So if you're a person who has really big goals and really big things that you want to accomplish in life or are specific places that you want to get to, um, that's all fine. But again, for me, uh, sometimes having those like really big lofty goals like right in my face when I'm at a particularly low point of with confidence is actually um, counterproductive and not helpful at all because it makes me feel yeah like a failure and like there's no way I can ever get to that point and I don't know how I'll get there and I'm so far from it and all of that so um, when I'm in a low point with confidence it's helpful for me to just not look at those not look at those big goals, but to take it like way, way back just to 
the, and this is something I've talked about a lot before. So if you uh, are, um, if you're somebody who's been watching my channel for a while, you, you will have heard me say this, but um, yeah, moving back from those big goals to, and identifying like what is the one next step that you can take from where you are. So, you know, if you are just, you know, beginning or starting out in, in illustration, or let's say you're even just starting to draw, you're not even like working in the industry yet, but you're just like working on your drawing skills and you want to, I don't know, like you want to be like Rembrandt or something, <laughs> um, that, the goal from like from where you are to Rembrandt that's a really long distance and it's it will be much more motivating if you can say okay like today I'm going to work on this one specific skill I'm going to work on drawing um, perspective or I'm going to work on um, observational drawing or drawing um, faces or hands or whatever like having very specific down-to-earth goals something that you know that you can do that day so um, confidence again tying it back to like this ability to look at things that you've done in the past and and see how you persevered and how you got through those challenges you want to give yourself opportunities to do that so pick things if uh, I think this is true all the time but especially if you're at a low point confidence wise pick things that you know that you can do pick challenges that that stretch you a little bit but that you know that you can accomplish that you know that you can push through and if you're saying I don't have any confidence I don't know I don't know if I can do anything just take it back even further I'm talking just like very very basic easy things like if if that means that you have to just like roll over in bed and doodle like a page full of hearts or spirals or leaves or whatever it is that you doodle like and do that that day then tell yourself okay today I'm going to fill a whole page with leaves or I'm going to fill a whole page with hearts and like that's how easy I'm talking so just kind of gauge where you're at and how big of a rut you're in and if how much the struggle um yeah how much of a struggle you're in at this moment at this point and if if it is like really bad if you don't have any confidence in yourself to do anything then just pick that super super basic thing that you wouldn't even consider a challenge and say okay I can do that and go from there so just getting yourself moving for me that's like extremely helpful and then uh, the last point I would say the last thing that I uh, find necessary to do if I'm in a, um, a low point confidence wise is to stay away from social media. So sometimes uh, if I am, yeah, if I'm struggling, if I'm at a, a tough point related to confidence, I will, um, well, often it's when I'm in the midst of working on a piece and I have gotten kind of stuck or um, if I'm working with a client and I just feel, yeah, I'm at a stuck point and I will say like, oh, I just, I just need, I just need some inspiration or whatever. And I'll look on, on social media, I'll go on Instagram. Um, and uh, that going, I love Instagram, <laughs> but uh, in that particular situation, what I find that what I'm doing in that instance is just like masking the fact that I'm not feeling confident and I'm feeling stuck. Um, and looking at, uh, looking at other people's stuff on Instagram is the exact opposite of what I need to do. Comparing myself to other people and looking at what other people are producing, it, it just is a recipe for disaster. So if I recognize that I'm not feeling confident, I really try to stay away from that. And that doesn't mean that I wouldn't take a break. I think taking a break can be a great thing to do, but like take a break and do something else that's not comparing yourself to other people. It's not related to art, like maybe bake something or go for a walk or have a cup of coffee or like pet your cat or whatever. So um, yeah, those are the things that I uh, find helpful personally if I'm not feeling confident. So I hope it was helpful for you to hear that and I always like to open it up and mention if you have other strategies for dealing with that, for things that help you when you're feeling low on confidence, please do leave those in the comments so that other people um, can look through those and um, and feel inspired because this is something that we all struggle with and we all deal with in different ways. And um, yeah, and, and I guess I would say one other thing, part of the reason I wanted to address this topic is because I've, I've gotten questions about it, but then also people say like, 
how how confident I seem. And I will say I do feel more confident than I did, you know, five years ago or certainly 10 years ago. Um, but I do still, like I said at the beginning, I do still struggle with all of those things with um, feelings of uncertainty, feelings of, you know, comparing myself to others and not feeling good enough. And uh, yeah, that's, that's just like a constant presence, but I am able to kind of work on in spite of that, I guess. So, um, yeah, I hope, I hope this is encouraging. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And that is it. And I will see you all in the next video. Hope you have a great week. Bye.